90% of people look for a shortcut or take the easy way out. And of those that are left, 90% of those people give up on whatever the hell they're doing just as soon as it gets just a little bit hard. It's only that last 1%, that last 1% that goes on to be truly successful in whatever they are attempting to do. Now, if you wanna get the true value out of this video, full screen it, don't look at the comments, don't check on anything else, watch to the end of the video. I guarantee literally 80% of people won't even do that. They're gonna go ahead and continue leaving, like living a life of mediocrity and all that shit. If you truly wanna get the value out of this video, give it your full attention, all right? So if you don't want to be average, it's literally one of the most simplest things in the world. You just have to literally do one thing. Less than average, they look for corners to cut, you know, a quick, easy hack. They typically lack like self-accountability, you know, they're just looking for an easy way to get shit done. You could think of it as like uh, that one guy who's overweight and he's thinking, what's what's the fastest exercise I could do to lose 50 pounds in the next two months? It's like, bro your ass, you're thinking the wrong way. That's why you, you have a less than average body, you know? If you would be thinking about putting in the hard work, you probably wouldn't be in that situation. Now, let's look at average, you know? Average, they, every, anyone could think of something hard to do, right? Average will be the people who will think of something that's hard, maybe even try it. But after they try it, and as soon as it gets just like a little bit hard, they're gonna quit. You know, same example with uh, somebody going to the gym. Somebody with the average physique will probably go to the gym for like one month and then as soon as their body starts getting sore and going for like three to four days a week is too much for them and the weight that they're starting to lift is getting a bit too heavy than what they were used to, they're probably just going to stop and then, you know, they'll pick it back up once they start getting fat again. But that's why those people have average physiques, correct? So... But for people who are above average, they literally never, ever look for the easy way out, you know? When shit gets hard, they don't sit there and think to themselves, what the fuck am I, what, how did I get myself into this? They, they keep going. And that's literally the key if you want success. Whenever stuff gets hard, just keep on pushing forward. It's, it's not that hard, you know? Don't look for shortcuts and just like know when shit gets hard, you're on the right path because... Whenever that feeling of like, fuck, man, this shit's hard. I don't want to do this. That starts to arise and you keep going. All you need to know is that literally 90, not like 90 to almost 99% of people have literally almost already turned around. So if you're feeling that way, you're on the right path. But if you quit, you're just like everybody else. So that's literally the key to being successful in anything. When you start, uh, when you start something that you know is going to be hard, and you start asking yourself like questions like, why am I doing this? What am I doing this for? Like, who does this to themselves? Like, bro, I need to quit. I'd rather be at home being a fucking little mediocre, comfortable little fucking bitch instead of doing this hard shit. You know, we, we have those thoughts. And whenever that like thought arises and it's for something that you knew was going to be hard and you went and tried it. Uh, my example in my life would be like sales. You just gotta remember this one quote, and this quote comes from a really successful entrepreneur. His name's uh, Alex Hermosi. I don't know if anybody knows him, but if you don't, go check out his uh, channel. Basically, what he said was, uh, you said this is gonna be hard, and you, were said, you said you were okay with it being hard, right? This is what hard feels like. This is what hard feels like. So if you're ever getting that feeling in your chest, if you have those questions come into your mind, you know, the, what am I doing this for? Why am I here when I could be comfortable? You know, like wh who does this to themselves? We have those thoughts coming up when it doesn't matter what you're doing. If you're going for a run, you're starting up that business, you're about to go ask that girl that you really like at your school out on a date. And then once you get up there, you start freaking out. You just need to remember, this is what hard feels like. And before you did any of this shit, you knew it was going to be hard, correct? All right, cool. What are we complaining for? The, like, most, like, literally, most people quit 
as soon as shit gets hard. Most YouTubers quit as soon as a couple videos don't get no views. That's why most people don't make it uh, for fucking YouTube. Most people don't get in shape because they get a little bit sore in their muscles and then they don't want to go again the next week. And then next week turns into the next week and then the fucking next month. Like, it's, if you just keep going when shit gets hard, you are doing better than most people whenever literally anybody gets just a slight teeny bit fucking uncomfortable they just fucking quit and they're and they're they're okay with that you know you you could do whatever you want personally honestly i don't really give a fuck you know if you'd rather be comfortable avoid discomfort your life and you know whenever something in your life gets a little bit too difficult for you to handle you'd rather just quit and take the easy way out look for an easier alternative you could do that my nigga me I ain't doing that. I'm going to face live like any fucking hard shit. If it gets hard, I know that I'm on the right path because like I said, it. I know most people would already quit at this point. Uh, the average life of a salesperson, uh, for my example, is like two weeks. So if I make it past two weeks, you're already better than the average sale per like salesperson because you made it like longer than anybody, like most of them have. Most salespeople quit within the first one to two weeks. Why? Because when you start, you're like, yeah, this just going to be hard. This is not going to be easy, but I'm going to fucking do this. You get out there. You're not like getting paid by the hour. You're basically your performance is your performance. If you make no money for the day, that's your fucking fault. That shit's hard. One, and then that's why a lot of salespeople just don't make it. They're just like, fuck, man, this shit's too hard, bro. I'm, I'm going to go back to McDonald's. And then you never see them again. They only make it two weeks. So... What does that mean? If I just make it longer than two weeks or double that, I'm better than the average salesperson. And you know what? You can use that as like motivation for whatever you're doing. The bar has been set so low for humanity for most endeavors, like whatever that like here, I'll give you a podcast statistic that I heard on a that I heard. Most podcasts, like 90% of podcasts don't make it past episode three. And of those podcasts that do make it past episode three. 90% of those podcasts don't make it past episode 20, whatever the fuck. So, if the bar is that low, 20 episodes of a podcast, you know, it's, it's, it's the same for literally everything else. The bar is set so low for whatever the fuck you want to achieve. Just like, it's literally, if you just have like the fucking tiniest little backbone to get off your ass and just fucking do some shit, you will succeed. And as long as you just, you're able to not quit when shit gets hard, you're going to make it. But I'm not going to waste any more of your time. You know, I'm kind of just giving you guys a whole spiel here. I just don't want you guys to ever give up when shit gets hard. Because when shit gets hard, that's how you know you're on the right path. Because you just could just say to yourself, most people would have quit by now. By me still going, I'm an outlier. That makes me special. And that and like, this is what fucking hard feels like. So like, what the fuck are you, a bitch? So I'll just leave it off on that note. I'm going to wrap it up there. I hope you guys got some type of value out of this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to drop a like on it. If you want some more value, check the links in the description. There will be a link to join the Discord. That's a great place to reach out to me. Or if you want to book a like 30-minute call with me, ask me any questions. Let me walk you through some of life's problems. Go ahead, book that down. Links will be in the description. I want you guys to do something productive today. But just remember, when shit gets hard and you feel like quitting... Every step that you take forward, that you keep progressing forward, you're becoming better than the, like literally most people. So just keep that in mind. Do something productive today. Peace out.